All right, in this video, we're going to go over uh, using some pictures for some site logistic planning. On our particular job site, we've got a very restricted job site, and we have two large cranes that we have to bring in at the same time, and so it's going to take some coordination. And how can we use, uh, you know, our picture scaling availability to use that? So what we would need is we need a picture of our crane and some way to scale it. So we have our civil plan here. Uh, let's take our crane. I've got an overhead view of a crane right here. So let's just take a snapshot of it. Let's grab it. And then just uh, right click and uh, paste. Bring it into our drawing. So let's think it a little bit. Let's go grab our other crane. Here's another one. Let's go take our snapshot. Make sure that we get our dimensions. Uh, let's go get that. Grab it. And right click paste bring it in there we go all right the next thing that we need to do is make sure that uh, our our scale is going to be right when we start dimensioning everything so let's go to our measurements tool and i've got one equals 20 foot which is this scale so let's just do a check just to make sure uh, let's take our measurement tool let's uh snap into here and it's it's not snapping let's just make sure that it's going to come out right. So we picked an arbitrary number and let's change that to, we know it's supposed to be 40 feet and delete that. And it should adjust correctly. So that looks good. So now that we know that our scale is, is pretty good, uh, let's go ahead and change this so we can actually see our dimension a little easier. Let's go to our properties. Let's make that scale a little bit bigger. That looks all right. That's doable. So good. Let's go back here to our toolbox because if if we had done our dimensions again, our length, it's going to default to that small dimension or small lettering right there. When we could change that every time, but if we go to our toolbox for our recent tools, make sure that we grab the one that we changed it. And let's go over here and and plug it in. There we go. So let's modify it. Let's zoom into our crane. Our crane is 63 feet. So let's adjust that dimension to 63 feet. Okay. All right. So now we know that we're doing pretty good. Let's bring it fairly close, and and you can see the difference that for our crane. Now, if we had just taken this and take our picture and moved it to where it gets just right. It's going to distort the picture of our crane. Let me just kind of exaggerate here. It makes it real squashed, so that's not going to be right. Control Z, Control Z. So we're back to our original picture. Let's make sure that we grab a corner and we'll bring it down, and that will bring it down in scale. So when we get our dimensions pretty close to accurate, we'll know that the crane picture itself is scaled correctly. And that looks pretty close at least for demonstration purposes. So let's do the same thing for this one. We're over here. Ah, see what I did? Grab that wrong one. Let's go grab that one that we had before. Okay. And zoom in. That one is supposed to be 28 foot 2 inches. So let's go 28 foot 2 inches. There we go. So now we know what we need to be getting to. Let's scale that crane a little bit. Looks like it needs to be a little bit more. It's a little trial and error back and forth until you get pretty close, at least for our demonstration purposes. And I'd say that's I'd say that's pretty good, at least for what we're doing here. Uh, you can always fine tune those things. Now, what I wanted to show you on this is this picture, when we bring it on top of our plan, you can see it's transparent. You can see underneath it. But this one is not transparent. And it's blocking out the whole view. So that might that might be become a problem. So let's take that. And here's a workaround on that. We can take our camera. Let's kind of zoom in. And let's, you know, for this kind of purposes, we're just going to, you know, take about as much of this or close as much as we can take off and 
doesn't have to be perfect at least for this if you really want to fine tune it you can you can do much better just bring it in here double click and it's thinking a little bit we'll zoom out while it's thinking you can see it right there and all right now it's done thinking let's go ahead and let's right click and let's paste okay there's our picture now you can see that at least we can see most of our our stuff on our job site so there you go you simply take that start arranging it where you need it on your job site and remember with your pictures you can rotate them on how you need to position your crane on your job site so hope that helps